Good evening. This is CTV News from Monday, March 28th. I'm Denise Douglas. And I'm Patricia Vallone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, President Obama's nominee to the Supreme Court was making the rounds on Capitol Hill this morning. Merrick Garland stopped by to meet with Maryland Senator Ben Cardin. The two sat down for about 30 minutes. They talked about the nominee's background as well as cases he's ruled on during his time as an attorney and chief judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals. Cardin continued his criticism of his GOP counterparts who are stalling a hearing and vote on Garland until after the election. It is March of, of uh, there's, a, there's nine months left in this year to suggest that we don't have the time and the president doesn't have the authority to appoint. It's just absolutely outrageous, outrageous. It's an affront to the Constitution of the United States and the responsibilities of those of us in the United States Senate to consider a presidential nomination. So I'm not talking about what's going to happen in next year. I want his nomination considered in this Congress. I want there to be a hearing and a vote. And members have the, uh, the responsibility either to vote for or against the nomination. That's what, that's what senators do. Now, Illinois Republican Senator Mark Kirk has broken with his party's position on this issue. He is scheduled to meet with Garland tomorrow. Several dozen law enforcement officials gathered this morning to discuss reform in the criminal justice system. The event was spearheaded by Congressman Steny Hoyer on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers are considering legislation that would address sentencing disparities. Hoyer says the roundtable discussion gives him a chance to get feedback on the measure. We have too many people in prison uh, who have not done serious crimes. But under the rigidity of the sentencing laws, have been incarcerated for long periods of time. That's costly. Uh, it uh, encourages recidivism, uh, and it doesn't make sense uh, for people. Uh, so uh, Republicans and Democrats on the federal level are talking about uh, reforming uh, the sentencing laws, uh, doing some other reforms to try to bring down recidivism. Uh, and uh, I'm here to listen to our law enforcement officials and others who are involved in the process of uh, uh, counseling, uh, operating prisons, uh, police, uh, uh, judges, and other uh, folks uh, to hear what their thoughts are on the federal legislation, but also to hear what their thoughts are that we ought to be doing locally. Representatives from the NAACP, the Sheriff's Office, and Police Department were part of today's discussion. Investigators have released the name of a man killed by a Mark train in Lanham this morning, and it turns out he was wanted by authorities. Police say 52-year-old Jacinto del Prado shot two men over the weekend in Jessup. One victim died of his injuries. The other is in critical condition. Del Prado was struck by a Mark train at around 7 o'clock this morning, shutting down Mark and Amtrak service. Investigators have ruled Del Prado's death a suicide. A procession of police officers, family, and friends left for Linwood, Pennsylvania this morning for the burial of Officer Ja'Kai Colson. The 29-year-old detective was responding to alleged gunfire from Michael Ford on March 13th when he was fatally struck by a colleague's bullet. Now, 22-year-old Michael Ford is facing 25 counts, including attempted murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Ford's two brothers, Malik and Elijah, are facing the same charges. 